Hey! Interesting. Ugh, my eyes! It's too bright! Sorry I'm late. Oh, hi there. Yes, your presence is noted. Hi! No light? It's too dark. Brighter, please. Oh, no, she didn't! Off! No bright! Dark! Bright! Come on! No! Ah! Wait, where are we? <sighs> this is gonna be a good orange. I can tell. Oh wow, look at that! Hey Madison! You've gotta see this! No, oh, sleeping… Fine, sleep the day away. Oh, here's my paper. Oh, oh. man. Bummer. But maybe it's a happy accident. This is all about trust in the process. See this pastel? Smudge it with your finger. Don't forget the yellow part. Now add a new piece. And do the same thing. Perfect. Time to smudge. Circular motions are best. It blends really nicely. Now remove the paper. Let's keep this thing going. This pastel is slightly darker. You can overlap it here, too. Yep, you guessed it. More smudging. Use a warm hue like orange. Create a half circle up above. Mixed with yellow underneath. It should blend quite nicely. Use a black pen to create details. Like birds, trees, and more. Look how cool it looks! You can even make a little boat. Row on, little guy! Isn't it just adorable? Give me some likes if you agree! <laughs> Thanks! Hmm. I'm so happy. Night, night. Okay, that's enough. Nap time's over, Madison! What? <gasps> I had the coolest dream! I'm suddenly feeling very inspired! Just takes a little bit of prep. Nice! Now for some color. Fill in each section with a different pastel. Even two or three in one section. I'm all about the blue shades today. Keep going! It's looking great! And you know what comes next. Smudging! But you can use a Q-tip this time. And be patient. It takes some time. It'll all be worth it, though. It's already looking awesome. Dust, be gone! And the tape, too, in fact. But I'm not done yet. Remember those empty spots? Use a similar method here, too. And add pink to the mix. Then it's Blend City, baby! Almost done! Keep it up! Then peel away the tape. Using a white marker, create little twinkling stars. You can make crescent moons, too. Stencils are helpful here, too. Finger blend! Some orange here at the bottom represents the land down below. Look at that night sky! And what a gorgeous border! And it's done! So are you gonna like it? Oh yeah! Wow, that's awesome! Mmm, what a pretty shade. Aw, here kitty kitty! Huh? Is that a cat? She's so cute! Aw! Ugh, what's with the light? I need it for my makeup, see? It's blinding me! Hey, you spilled all the water! Thanks a lot. Oops. Oh man. So what's with the cat? It sure is cute. And this brush. Wait a minute. I have a great idea. Cats are my absolute favorite. And I can draw them as cute as can be. It looks like water now. But just you wait. It'll make a bold statement. Still with me? Good. Add in some color here. The water dilutes the color a bit and gives it a furry texture. Keep going all the way around. Very nice. Now let's add some texture. All of these little lines will make a huge difference, even though it's quite tedious. Make little lines down here. And use red for the ears. It's really coming together. A kitty-inspired creation. You like it? You really like it! Wow! What can I create? Something unique for sure. First I'll use lead shavings. The more the better. 
Now comes the Q-tip. Use it to smudge all the lead. Just use circular motions, with little points followed by a body. This Q-tip is doing some magic! Can't forget the tail! Get rid of the excess, and use a pencil to create the illusion of fur. Then make some whiskers. Oh, it's so cute! What do you think? You like it, don't you? Wow! Awesome! Wanna swap? Woohoo! Aww! Hey, what's in here? A brand new day? 24 new hours for bright ideas! Wow! New supplies? Ugh, it's too early for this. Oh well. What's going on in here? What's up? <laughs> you thirsty, mister? Aw! A new leaf! You can do it, little guy! Aw, man! I broke it! Oh, Madison. Here, let me help you. They just need a little more sunshine. That's unbelievable! Gimme that thing! Wait, no! Don't fall off! Yikes. What? But they're brand new! What happened? Oh, Madison? Uh -huh. Check this out. See? Wow, a butterfly? Hey, these kinda look like wings. I'm inspired! Use the leaves to make a butterfly. Have a white marker handy? Use it to color your leaves. This part may take some time. But once it's done, use blue to create new patterns. Some pink and yellow, too. White can make the colors pop. Use black for more lines. Keep going! You can add even more little dots. It's looking more and more real by the second. Look at all these fun patterns. Cool, right? You're digging them! Yay! Check out my butterfly. You don't like it? That makes me sad. Whatever. I'll make something else. A new and improved butterfly. And this time, I'm using a watercolor method. Here comes color! You can drop the color right in. Now it has a cool bleeding effect. Especially when you add more colors. You can make a color gradient pattern. Isn't it pretty? Like a sunset. Color in the middle with black. Then trace on the antenna. Perfect! Now add a golden outline. This can define the wings better. And it adds a bit of sheen. You can make dots with it, too. Fun with lines of varying thickness, too. Ta-da! So beautiful! Talk about an upgrade! Am I right? Wow, thanks for the likes! Here, it belongs with you. Uh-huh, pom-pom power! They're just so soft! <laughs> Look! Wow, so many colors! Huh? Hey! Ever heard of sharing? So moody. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. How did a bat get in here? <laughs> Take that! Oh no! What a waste! My bad. I'll take care of this. I just need to flatten things a bit. Wow, so cool! You can even use a credit card to flatten it more. Wow! Look at all these fun stripes! Looks like another happy accident! Bring on the likes! <laughs> oh yeah? I can make something even better. But I want to use more hues. All the colors of the rainbow! And with one swoop of water… And a careful dip, you've got yourself a recipe for a rainbow! Ready? Here we go! So magnificent! And it's all done! What do you think? You like it, huh? I'd say it's frame-worthy! <laughs> These are looking excellent! Huh? I should be a comedian! Huh? Is that the door? I better check. 
She's finally gone! Time for some fun! This is gonna be great! I've been working on my drawing skills. Whoa, these look so realistic. Sometimes I surprise myself. Now for the old switcheroo. I'll put the real eggs next to the drawing. Hey, Luna. Wanna try some eggs? Uh, sure. Huh, I'll try this one. Wait, that's a drawing! Gotcha! These are the real eggs. And they're all mine. Yummy. That's so unfair. What a charming delivery man. Wait a second. Where are my eggs? They're the egg thieves. Uh-oh. Busted. There's only one thing for it. Granny, no! What just happened? Is Granny a witch? So you like drawing? Well, it's time for an art challenge. Are you kidding me? Well, Granny has finally gone crazy. That's better. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Can we hurry this up? Aha, now I can speak. It's time for the first challenge. Draw a cute teddy bear. Really? Wow, this is so lame. This'll be easy. Check it out. One adorable teddy bear. <laughs> Wait, that's not good. This bear belongs in the trash. Let's try this again. You know, this isn't so bad. Huh, not very cute. I can't give this to granny. It'll terrify her. What am I gonna do? <sighs> it's harder than it seems. Hold on. I've got it. I'll use my magic button. I hope this works. Please, please, please! Whoa! Look at that! A mystical pencil! It's wonderful! Look at all those colors! Here goes! I'll draw little spirals. Just like this. And it'll be multicolored. I have a good feeling about this. That's the arms done. Now I need to draw the rest of the body. Wait until Granny sees this! She'll be so surprised. But it needs to be perfect. It looks so soft and fluffy. Now I can draw the face, then give it a big smile. That's one happy bear. It's gonna hold a love heart. It doesn't get better than this. Now I'll color the heart red. This just fills me full of joy. I wish I had a teddy like this. Granny, I finished. Huh? What was that? Teddy, stop it! Shh, I'm trying to concentrate. This paper won't cut itself. We're supposed to be drawing. What are you doing? Wouldn't you like to know? It's a secret. This is just what I need. Now I can get to work. I'll need glue. I'll stick it to this paper. Then I'll add another circle. This will be my bear's eye. But he'll need another one. I'll put it over here. So far so good. This will be the mouth. I'll apply some glue. Then I'll stick teeth to it. Razor sharp teeth. <laughs> this is fun. This is no ordinary bear. He'll have pink horns. Wow, look at that. It's a masterpiece. Picasso would be proud. Wait, something's missing. I need to frame it. Now it can hang in a gallery. I'm done. <sighs> That's your bear? What? Oh, you're finished. Let me have a look. Ah, uh, they're different. I guess <laughs> you both win. Well done. Are you kidding me? I'll take it. A little shading here. A shadow there. She knows we're here, right? I don't think so. I think it's ready. Here's the next challenge. A glamorous dress. Uh, where's the paper? What's that? Oh, right. I can fix that. Here you go. What? No way! How'd she do that? This is all I get? Hmm. I've got so many ideas. But I'll finish my soda first. Uh-oh. I drank too much. I need the toilet. It's an emergency. Oh, fine. But be quick. Thanks, granny. Where's she going? Ugh, whatever. What am I gonna do? Wait a second. Maybe there's something in my bag. Ugh, I need to clean it. Is that a bug? It's so cute! Coochie goo! You can be my new pet. <sighs> I needed that. Ah, disgusting 
Hey, his name's Frank, and he's sensitive about his appearance. That is so gross. Don't be mean. Is that toilet paper? Is it the latest fashion? This is so embarrassing! Stop laughing. It happens to everyone. Hey, this gives me an idea. I can use this. Yeah, this might work. Let's give it a try. I'll start by folding the toilet paper. Like this. Now I need a glue stick. I'll rub it over the model's waist. Then I'll stick the toilet paper to it. I'll make pleats in it. I'll do this all the way across. It looks amazing. But it can be better. I'll cut circles from the toilet paper. They look pretty basic just now. But I'm gonna transform them. And all I need is a pencil. I'll place the eraser on the circle. It needs to be in the middle. Then I'll give it a twist. Now I'll rub it on the glue stick. Then it can go onto the dress. It looks like roses. I'll put one in the model's hair. Now this is fashionable. She deserves to be on the catwalk. Let's add some sparkle. You can never have enough gems. Wow, it's so stylish! I need to show granny. I hope she likes it. Whoa, that's impressive. How can I beat that? Aha! I know. Frank can help me. Don't worry, he's not real. I'll stick him right here. Let's give him a buddy. This is gonna be a different kind of dress. But it's still fashionable. Wow, I love it. Mother Nature would be proud. I mean, I'd wear it. Hey, granny! Look at this! What the… Ew! This is a real dress! Wow, you're both so talented! Annie's dress is interesting! Is that box? Yikes! Okay, it's Luna's turn! Ooh, so chic! It's beautiful! Luna is the winner! What? Woohoo! Seriously? Nah, nah! Hmm, my crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing. Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What'd she write to me? Yep, I've got some feelings about this. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm in love. Wait. Just one last look. Yep. This guy is really something. Ah. Uh, Oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember. Such a sweetheart. Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower? All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this. Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals. Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. 
You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Oh. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist. Mm. So sugary. It's really inspiring my art here. What's going on over here? Oh! You know the rules, young lady. No candy! Who needs this much sugar anyway? Oh, what's wrong with this one? Care to explain? Cool, huh? What? I created it myself. Color me intrigued. What's happening in here today? What on earth? Mm-hmm. Oh! The principal! No candy allowed. Now for your punishment! No! Wait! Whoa! What is this place? Ahem. <clears throat> now that I have your attention, it's time you picked up your utensils. Oh! <laughs> it's a bird call. And your first art challenge. Hmm. Let's think. Oh, this scarf. This shouldn't be too hard for me. What? Is that what I think it is? Get out of here, you silly bird! <laughs> At least that gives me a leg up here. In fact, I have just the thing to give me that extra edge. Ugh. How did this get in there? Whatever. As I was saying… Huh? Is this some kind of cruel joke? Okay, finally! My stuff! Oh, great. Another boring book. Not helpful. Goggles? None of this stuff is useful at all. What's all this math? Like I know what any of this means. On second thought, I can use numbers to help me. Once I get the body down, I can use a few magic numbers over here. And on the head, too. It's starting to look like a bird, right? Just wait till the color comes in. You okay there, my little chickadee? I'll give you nice, beautiful feathers. With all the colors of the rainbow. 
It's finished! What do you think? Can you see the numbers in it? Stunning! And you? I got stuck under some bad weather. This is as far as I got. Ooh! You won this round, Annie. <laughs> Aw, yay! For me? Thanks. Mmm! 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 I can't work under these conditions. I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh! The next challenge is upon us. I've seen plenty of apples in my day. I know just where to start. And the perfect circle is key here. But where am I supposed to put the stamp? This circle takes up the whole page. <laughs> Ugh. Back to square one. Hmm. I could use a little inspo. Wait! I spy the perfect apple! Mm-hmm. She seems good and distracted. I'm going in! Mission Apple Impossible in full effect. I'm armed and ready. A clean, careful cut is all it takes. Huh? What is Annie doing? Knock it off! Sit down! Sorry! Ah, oh, man, I was close too! Huh. Guess I'll just draw what I know. Like the word, apple. That's easy. P-P-L-E. Wait a minute. If I divide the word by five, or rather, an apple, I get one big step closer to my result. Okay, let's make that five a little bigger. Who knew the number could take up a whole half of an apple? You would never even know that it started out as a number. Especially not when you fill it in. With just the right blending, this thing jumps off the page. Oop, can't forget about the stem. Create a little shadowing. And a few extra little details. And this thing looks good enough to eat! Don't you agree? Ta-da! All finished! Me too. How realistic. And how… Uh, flat. Well, this is a no-brainer. Bravo, Annie. I won! Yes! I wish I had a real apple. Me too. Ugh! Someone already chewed through this one! Ugh! Ha! <laughs> Luckily, mine's fresh. Oh, my sweet, sweet good boy. So handsome. In fact, why don't you two draw him? Now! Oh, it's on! And I'm a doggy expert! It's just a head, body, and four legs. But this looks a little dull, doesn't it? Ugh! Let me try this again. I think bigger's the way to go. Ugh, still bad. Huh. Nope. Still awful. Go. Oh. Hey. Huh? What? Calm down. Hey, I think I have an idea. I can use my hand as a guide. Because once I have the outline down, I can get creative with all the details. Trust me, this is gonna turn out awesome. See? Now all that's left is some color. And this good boy is giving chocolate brown vibes. Can't forget that pink tongue! A doggy trademark! Ta-da! Like what you see? The resemblance is uncanny. And yours? Uh, Annie? What? <gasps> <sighs> no drawing. That means you've won, Miss Emma. Ooh, these look delicious! Thank you! Chocolate doggies! I'm starting with this one. Looks good. Mmm, so creamy. No fear! <gasps> Calm down, dear. Just take one. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Of course. A little realism is in order. Ladies? Um… <laughs> hey! Oh! Sorry about that. Is that a hand we're drawing? Okay, fine. I have a plan. Let's see. This hand could work. But this one is way better! Yet. 
Talk about lending a hand. All I have to do is trace this thing. I've got this round in the bag. Hey, look! One moment. Seriously? Okay. This thing's kind of fun. Actually, I know. Good girl! Huh? Annie? Huh? Well, that was odd. Got any wax in there? Huh? Knock it off, I'm trying to work here! Oh! Wait, you know what? This may come in handy. Art is all about inspiration, not copying. And those twisted fingers got my brain going. Can't go wrong with red nails, right? This thing is really coming together. All finished! Where'd she go? Oh, anyway. Hey, hands up! Okay. Whoa, how'd she manage that? Mine looks so lame next to hers. Meh. Oh my word! Stunning! Who's she waving in? Just my prize is all! And wow, this one's spectacular! I'm the art queen! Jealous? Good job! Don't even think about it. Howdy, folks. Think you can draw this? Now get going! Psh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> Pink's the name of the game this round. Oh yeah. First comes the paper cup. Bubblegum Pink's my fave. Oh, she didn't even consider sizing. I'd say that's about five inches. Hmm. And now on to the yummiest part. So good. But maybe green was the wrong choice. Oh. Yes? Is that supposed to be ice cream? Whoa! I didn't mean to draw this! You want a green, right? Amateur mistake. I say the more realistic, the better. Starting with the big, creamy scoops. Color should always come second. You create a better foundation this way. See what I mean? You can't go wrong with all the little details. See? Ice cream! It's written right on the cup! And now it's finally time for some color! All this ice cream is making me hungry! That's what happens when you get real with what you're drawing. Almost done! Just a few more details here. And there! I'm finished! Feast your eyes on this! Huh? Oh, let me see here. Now that's what I call a masterpiece. Here! Yeah! Whoa! It turned into a real bucket of ice cream! This may be the best prize yet! Mmm! Ugh, this is torture. I don't even like broccoli. Ugh, it tastes like a tree. Anyone want to enter this contest? Anyone's welcome! Except for you. Get out of here! Gross. Whoa, now we're talking? Whose car is that? Don't worry, ma'am. I'm coming around. Here you are. Watch your step. Ugh. <sighs> that ride took forever. I'd be honored if you took a flyer. Go! What is this? An invite to a drawing contest? No! Why does there have to be wind anyway? There's nothing in here. Ooh! What's this? A drawing contest? Ugh. Thanks. Give me that. Now look what you've done! Looks like they're both going. Okay, are we ready for some drawing? Let's warm up with a rainbow. A rainbow, huh? That's one heck of a warm up. Hmm, I know! My bag of stuff can finally come in handy! Let's see. Oh! Hmm. Aw, hey, little guy! <laughs> Aw, good boy. Here's what I was looking for. Ready for some magic? Watch these colors turn into a whole rainbow. Just gotta make a few globs. There. Done! Well, 
<laughs> Almost. Nice! Let's put this thing to work! Is this satisfying or what? It's all about working with what you've got, people! There! Ooh, that's a little messy. Now peel off all the tape. Nothing like a clean, smooth line. Well, make that three smooth lines. Ah, done! Thanks for the help! Pretty impressive, isn't it? I guess it's fine. I got this. Hello? Do I have to do it all myself? So pretty. Go! I need space to get creative here. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> Obviously. Everybody watch and learn. It's pretty with all the colors, isn't it? Just wait till you see what's next. See? I get to work sometimes. And once that's all finished, you're left with gorgeous rainbow sand. Look at those vibrant hues. Ta-da! That was actually pretty awesome. Oh, I'm definitely not done yet. It's like a little dancing rainbow guy. Gives it a little personality, don't you think? Well? They're both interesting. Which is why you're both winners! Uh, that's fine. Um, is he gonna give us our challenge or what? Uh-huh. Oh! Gadget! Got it? A gadget, huh? Oh, say no more. I know just the guy. <laughs> Aw, there it is! He's so cute, right? But I can make some adjustments. That's good. Now let's get to work, shall we? And start! Yes, will do. Am I seeing what I think I am? Yep, he's pretty awesome. I know. Now draw away, little guy. But since every artist needs a little inspo, here's yours. Think you can handle a little kitty? No problem. You can always depend on this thing to make the perfect circle. Recognize this thing yet? Just give him a minute, he'll get there. Look at all those perfect lines! What on earth? I don't approve! Can robots even make real art? Looks like it. Ah, chew! Looks about done. And needless to say, it's perfect. See? Well, two can play this game! I just need the right shapes! Let's see here… Just a little bit of assembly… and there! Just a piece of plastic and a picture on your phone. And poof! You can trace it! Pretty inventive, isn't it? Being resourceful always works out. Almost done! He's turning out pretty cute! I think… <laughs> Lame! So, who wins? For obvious reasons, Naomi! No way! Turns out being creative is the way to go! Stupid robot! You belong in the garbage bin! You hear that?! No. You. Are. The. Garbage. <sighs> What? You drew something for me? <laughs> Is this supposed to be funny? Technology has <laughs> failed me today! Well, now what? Hello up there? Oh, of course. The next round is origami. Phew! Origami? Okay. Good thing I carry paper with me at all times. Just kidding, my butler gave it to me. I prefer paper that's actually worth something. And gold's even better. Here you go! 
Whoa. Is that real? I'd better get to work. All right, here goes nothing. Things are getting hot in here. Whoa! It turned to gold! But why stop there? In you go! Phew! Oh gosh! Yep, it definitely worked! Fantastic! Mwah! Miss Betty? Thanks, chef. That's so unfair! I wonder if I have some paper lying around. It's not gold, but it'll do. Ready to witness some magic, guys? Yikes. That paper is so wrinkled. Hilarious, I know. But I can turn things around. Just can't leave it on too long. Good as new! Whatever. I've got other things to worry about. Just a few careful folds, and this will look anything like a piece of paper. Now just draw a couple of marks here. It looks strange now, but it'll all make sense at the end. Recognize it yet? It's only the prettiest girl in the world! Huh? Just be patient, will you? I just have a few more lines here. Now for the same thing on this side. Just keep folding flats up and drawing in the blanks. There. All done. If you say <laughs> so. Color, please. Now she can dance. See? I can make all her limbs move. I can't compete with that! Or can I? Just make a fold up top, and again in the other direction. And keep going all the way down. Then draw a straight line here. Then keep it going down this way. Then close it so it's a square. Can you tell what it is yet? And in here, draw a little bunny! How cute is this thing, come on! And he needs a little bear friend! Adorable, right? Don't forget to color things in! Orange and blue always pop! Now for our animal friends! The colors really bring them alive! One last thing. Then fold the paper down. Ta-da! All done! This is tough. But that ballerina… You win! Well, what about my cute creation? This movie is terrifying! Change the channel, come on! Huh. Did you put this thing here? I've never seen it before. What do you think this is? A real pearl? So shiny… Madison? What's going on here? Whoa! Where did this outfit come from? Hey! I think I caught something! It's me, Brian. At least, I think it's me. Check out all this hair! Whoa! You guys having fun yet? Well, this day sure took a turn. There. Wanna take a spin? It's time for another drawing challenge! One, two, three! And… We got the blue shell! Aw, kitties are my favorite! Ella Kazam! Oh, come on. There. How does she do that? I wonder what's inside here. A gold coin? You try. Don't need to pull my arm. Hmm, I think I feel something. Ugh. <gasps> 
It's a real kitty! Aw, he sure is cute, huh? What do you think his name is? I say we call him Marshmallow. Mmm, I guess. How did I get stuck with this? I know! I'll use it to draw my own cat! All I need is the perfect half circle. Then everything else falls into place! He's really coming together, see? It's amazing what just a few different shapes can do! And a pop of color, of course. Just a couple more accents. And done! So cute! Thanks for this! Whoa! Who's my baby? Marshmallow? You didn't draw anything. I was distracted! Show me your kitty creations! Well, this is embarrassing. It's my best work yet! Meow! <gasps> it's possum! Thank you! Didn't feel inspired, Brian? Alakazam! Marshmallow? Time for another spin! Look at them go! Orange? It's a surprise round! I don't get it. Big me! I know! Uh, a fishing pole! Nope. Oh, wait! I got it! <sighs> yes, Brian? A car, right? No, not a car. It's a unicorn! Uh, oh. <gasps> I can draw one of those! I only have a million of them! They're my favorite! See? <laughs> this girl's officially lost it. Cool, right? <laughs> okay then, start the clock! Unicorns can't be that hard. It's all about a bunch of bright colors. And markers on plastic don't really dry. So when you color them close together… And add a little bit of water… They all kinda melt into each other. Push another piece of paper on top, and it makes a cool tie-dye effect! And whatever you draw on top is sure to look super magical! And you can just color it black! See how it pops against all the different colors? Neat, huh? Is time up already? Mine's done and perfect! You can say that again! I love that! What about your drawing? You have nothing, Madison? Mm, meh. Like I need more of these things. Nope. I don't need one. Okay. Suit yourself. Hmm. I hate seeing her sad. Here, want my drawing? You can never have too many unicorns! Oh, so sweet! You guys ready for this one? Pink means… An eagle! Not done yet! What? Is this supposed to mean something? Is it a secret code? Let me see something here. Hmm. This is a real thinker. I wonder what I should eat for lunch. Ooh, she sure knows what she's doing. <gasps> My hand hurts! That's it! The dots just anchor the eagle! Now I just have to color it in! It's better if I speed it up. Looking good! And that's all, folks! Done? Ooh, just in time! Check it out! <gasps> I'm very impressed! Aw, shucks. <sighs> I did mine freestyle! Plus, it's sparkly! <laughs> Do you love it? It's like a mermaid bird! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get your pencils ready! Let's see here. 
We have purple! Which means… Monkey! Wow! You ready? Hey! She wants a monkey? Ooh, ah! <laughs> That's pretty good! <laughs> oh, uh -uh. Don't be a monkey! Draw one! Hmm. What's she doing? Hey! Wanna help a friend out? Mm, I guess. Let me see this. Drawing a monkey doesn't have to be complicated. Isn't this little guy adorable? I can almost hear him! Wow! You're the best! Now for mine! Oh, just one more minute? Time is money, Madison. I did this all by myself! Impressive, huh? And here's mine. These look really similar. Almost like they're by the same artist. Too weird. It's mine! Oh, really? Okay. You can have it. It's mine, see? I'm so proud! Another drawing coming at ya! You ready for this? Yellow means… Square! Good luck! I think I can do something. I did this in preschool. Whoa! Someone paid attention in geometry. I'm not down with that. That's more like it. Hmm. This is gonna be good. Let's see them. A square! <laughs> is that even a shape? It's… something. Square! Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now do you see it? Whoa! Did you see that sorcery? <gasps> it's genius! Uh, mine's just not folded yet. There. See it better now? <sighs> A for effort, Brian. Aww. Stupid square. Show me? It's really easy. Just follow this. Now connect the lines you've made. Starting to look like a shape now! Wow! You artists have some real potential! Thanks for playing! Whoa! Can you believe it? We gotta tell everyone about this! Is this Brian's? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. Ah, what's next? At least all my utensils are ready. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. Yes! Huh? Who's that? Oh! Whoa! Cool. Let's do it! I'm suddenly inspired. And emojis means having fun with shapes. I make a mean circle. Aha! I could use a little extra help. Nothing like a fresh jar of paint. Hey! What's the deal? You don't even care, do you? Wow, she's unbelievable. Huh. That's interesting. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do this a new way. Get in there, yellow paint. Perfect. Now here's where the fun begins. Fill her up! Ooh! Look at them go! Can you guess what I'm making? An emoji, remember? It's definitely different! Hey, Wendy! Oh, I thought you'd never ask! Not sure it can beat this thing! I know, it's awesome! Oh, I wish I thought of that! And they made the whole float out of flowers! Crazy, right? Yep. 
Mmm! Mmm! What's up, ladies? Huh? Oh! Hello there! We were just talking about flowers. Aren't I gorgeous? Oh, stop. All right, we'll draw you, gosh. But with what? I don't have any brushes. Wendy wouldn't mind if I took one. Would she? This one's pretty nice, too. Good! Now for a thicker line. Hey! That's my brush, Jennifer! That's not yours! No! Look what you made me do! I guess I could use something different. Okay, very different. First, dip the bottom of the bottle in paint. Now use it to make little blossoms. Pretty easy, don't you think? Just a couple more. Perfect roundness, too. Try it with even more colors next. It's starting to look really pretty. See? Not bad. Oh, I don't think I can fix it! Mine turned out pretty good, actually. No hair! <laughs> At least you tried your best. For me? That's really nice of you, Jennifer. Paint hands! Uh, you can hug me later. So cute! Matthew will love it! Oh. Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Psst. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it! I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should have brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. Don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! <gasps> what am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should have thought of this earlier! I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. I'm sorry. Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start. Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch. Hey, I can use that ribbon. That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, oh, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Oh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook. Open the back cover. And start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. 
Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbons. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it! I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box! Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. 